Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the market. So SPY right now is all about the hourly time frame. You can see the daily charts tightening up a little bit. The middle Bollinger Band is still support. There's some upper wicks of profit taking. And here on the hourly time frame, it's a beautifully clear equilibrium. I'm choosing to look at it without extended hours on. You can see when you put extended hours on, it gets a little bit more drawn out. Same pattern is still there, just in terms of clarity and simplicity. Let's take off those extended hours. And we've been watching for this equilibrium to form pretty much on this candlestick is when we started to keep an eye out for it. So that has pretty much led us to about 12 hours where we pretty much know what's going to happen in this market with a tightening range. And that's really a way to put yourself ahead of the herd and to be able to recognize those equilibriums and when opportunity is going to tighten up and then waiting for the break in that tightening range to see an increase in opportunity and volatility that is what being a trader is all about. So we had our lower high, higher low, lower high, higher low, and another lower high. So the short ranges that we're watching are 290.28 support and 291.11 resistance. If we break resistance, we have three other resistance levels to look at. And if we break support, we have two other support levels to look at. So we're looking for a break here on Monday as we are tight enough to the point that that's pretty much a guarantee and we'll see which direction it breaks. Keeping in mind that if the break occurs at the open, meaning extended hours results in the break, I take that with a grain of salt and it's less uh, convincing to me than if it breaks during regular trading hours with real volume behind the move. IWM continues its weakness. Daily lower highs keep getting sit set and we are now consolidating to the point on the weekly that we're close to the middle Bollinger Band support test. We're still not at risk of losing this weekly uptrend and 164.71 and 163.64 are a couple support levels that we are still forming a higher low compared to. So a month of consolidation, but it's very healthy consolidation, all things considered. And once we change the daily trend, we'll say, all right, our weekly higher low has been established and the IWM bulls are ready to show back up. Checking in on the tech sector and QQQ, daily inside bar on the verge of all time highs. The upper Bollinger Band is a bit tight, so that might be in the way. But if we break this inside bar bullish, 186.28, we're looking up at 186.49 and then the all-time high of 187.18. In terms of support, it's 184.97 and then we'll look for a higher low. If we get a bear break, anything above 181.30 will maintain the daily higher low pattern. Weekly chart for QQQ, still very bullish and riding exponential supports. XLF has been the weight of the S&P 500. If you remember about two months ago, XLF pretty much every day for weeks was the anchor of the S&P 500 is what we were referring it to. And that's because the tech sector was holding up the market, but the market wasn't being allowed to run because the financial sector was showing weakness. Well, we've obviously seen six very bearish days in a row for this financial sector and a big sell-off going from 29 down to 27.50. That is a pullback of about four and a half, almost 5%. So that is notable and we're going to be looking for a short-term bounce here, which could help these bulls break the equilibrium bullish on SPY. But we're at a point again where, you know, as long as one of these sectors is holding up, the market's not going to see a lot of weakness. And it is the tech sector that has to keep doing that job. Otherwise, we will be looking for pullback in the overall market. So XLF has now lost the weekly uptrend. And the next major level is 2749. If we lose that, it is even more of a red flag. This is the most bearish candlestick that we've seen in the financial sector since back here in March. And that's when SPY was so weak. So again, SPY is not seeing this kind of weakness because of the tech sector. VIX pulling back here, not seeing much follow through at all for the bulls and watching this tight weekly pattern inside bar form this week, 1155 support, 1322 resistance, and Bollinger Bands tight, but they are beginning to open up a little bit here. So we don't have to necessarily see a big kind of breakout like we saw to start the year when those Bollinger Bands get tight. They can open back up again, and that's looking to happen over the next couple of weeks. So at this point, we're still watching the bears in control overall. We do still have a bunch of clear resistances to be watching, some supports as well. So we're not seeing an all-out dump or anything like that, but it's clearly the bulls are struggling to get any kind of momentum going forward. So I appreciate you all watching and we'll see what Monday brings. Watch that spy hourly equilibrium.